please call the meeting to order. I call that a racket. It's a racquetball paddle. Well, we're going to be up a creek without a paddle if we don't get this meeting started. <laughs> Start the meeting! Start the meeting! This meeting of the Secret Millionaires Club is now called to order. Finally! I've got some new business, and I do mean business. That's what we're here for. My big brother, Jared, is opening a new high-tech electronics store, and he's asked for our advice. So he wants to bounce it off a... He only has enough money to carry TVs and DVD players. He could carry computers and cell phones, too, if he borrows a lot more money. Many of the new mobile communication devices have some amazing capabilities. And the cell phones have some cool apps, too. Uh, that, too. But what do you get when you borrow? A lot of cool stuff that you don't have to pay for? Um, until you have to pay for it. Yeah, when you borrow money, you've got to pay it back. Plus, additional interest. That's right. Borrowing money may help you at first, but interest increases what you owe pretty quickly. If a retailer decides to borrow too much money for inventory, he runs the risk of not being able to pay back his debt if sales are slower than anticipated. Then his business might have to go out of business. On the other hand, by slowly building his inventory with items that he can afford and that will sell a lot, he can remain debt free. So I guess I'll remind my brother that borrowing money could be a losing proposition. There it is. Game, set, and match. Ow! Now that's quite a racket. Yes, my brother's store is doing great. By not borrowing too much money, he was able to grow his business into a huge success. Terrific, Elena. But I was referring to Jones' racket. Actually, it's still a paddle. Ow! But that can be a racket. So remember, the best way to pay off a debt is to never have one. And now, here's words from Warren. Hey kids, Warren Buffett here. Business can get into a lot of trouble if its managers borrow too much money. This is especially true if money is borrowed to help a business grow and new sales don't result and then you can't pay back the loan. Borrowing too much money can get people into trouble too. If you borrow money to buy things that you want and don't earn enough money to pay back the loan, you can get into a financial mess. So remember, the best way to pay back a debt is to never have one. The best investment you can make is an investment in yourself. The more you learn, the more you'll earn.